Good morning. It is about 9.30 a.m. It is Sunday, February 19th, and today I have a 10 to 10 tech rehearsal for Fools by Neil Simon. Actually, actors are thankfully not called until 11.30, which is a huge blessing, but it's still going to be a long day. Today is our 10 to 10, 12 hour tech rehearsal. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have dress rehearsals. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have performances. So on top of it being tech week and opening and closing night for Fools, I also have five performances for the other show I'm in this week. So I have a total of nine shows this week. It's really gonna be a fun week. Like. I get to perform nine shows this week for an audience and that's like my dream. That's what I want to do with my life. So it's really great. I know I'm going to be stressed out this week and it's going to be a lot of work and I'm going to be really tired after it, but it's going to be worth it because it's so much fun to just like do what I love. Real quick for those of you that don't know what Tech Week is, Tech Week is the week leading up to an opening night of a performance where we add all the technical elements to a show. That's anything from like lighting and sound and costumes. So Fools takes place in a black box theater in the round. And so it's a very intimate theater and we have a very minimalistic set. So there are a lot of sound cues. For example, my character knocks multiple times at a door but there is no physical door as part of our set, so I can't actually make the knock sound myself. So we have a sound cue for all of those things that we will have to go through today. So I'm about to head to the theater now. It takes about 40 minutes to get there, so I'll check back in when I'm there. I just pulled up to the theater. It is 11.17, so I've got about 13 minutes before I'm supposed to be here, but I'd rather be early than late, so let's head inside. some quick theater etiquette things for tech rehearsal. If someone is going to change the lights, they will call out lights before they do so, so that you are aware of it. Same if somebody's going to play a sound, they will call out sound. And the way to respond to this is to say thank you. As well as an actor during a tech rehearsal, because we're doing a lot of stop and start, when we stop someone, usually the director, but it may also be a designer, will call out hold. And you also should respond with thank you and then hold where you are instead of continuing on with the scene. so pale in this lighting. Thank you, hour. Okay, so it's just after two and we're on our hour lunch break right now. So I went and picked up some Taco Bell for lunch. I'm gonna have a blue tongue for the rest of rehearsals. That'll be fun. I brought my coat with me, but it's actually a pretty warm day right now. Like you can see some snow on the ground, but it's really starting to melt. It's pretty warm. <laughs> what we do in a tech rehearsal. 
goof around. <laughs> Try to knock his head off. Thank you. Yeah. Lights. <laughs> Daylight. It's just before six. So getting to leave here about four hours early. More sleep tonight. It's always nice when you have a tech day that you don't have to spend all 12 hours at the theater and you get to go home early and you get to go home when it's still daylight outside. So let me flip my camera over. It's starting to get dark, but you know, it's still kind of light out. See ya in 40 minutes. All right, so I'm back home from rehearsal. We did not need all 12 hours, thankfully, but that's pretty much what a 10 to 10 tech day looks like, from the actor perspective, at least. A stop and start run through of the show, adding the lights and sound and adjusting things as needed. And a lot of goofing off when we're holding while they adjust lights and stuff. We were very giddy today, but it's okay. So stay tuned because tomorrow we will be adding the costumes for our dress rehearsal. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more shenanigans. <laughs> if you haven't seen my previous vlog on memorizing lines, check that one out. I will leave the link in my description below, as well as I will put one right here somewhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you made it this far in the video, comment a purple heart below because purple is my favorite color. And if you're looking for something to do, go buy yourself a Lego set. We'll see you in the next one.